we are back in my basement, which is really just storage for us. But I'm gonna try to tackle some of these that are labeled pictures and lamp shades and that kind of a thing and see what we can get rid of either by donating, selling, or giving away. Clothes, I could probably easily do that. I mean, we've been living here since July, so what do we even need to keep out of a box labeled clothes? Welcome to my channel. My name is Erica. If you're new here, nice to meet you. I share my minimalist life here on YouTube and over at ericamucasloves.com. they did like a tri fold thing with two boxes of water. outside okay now we understand get this bad boy out Ooh. there's a lot in here what is it what is it what is it There's a lot of little things tucked in here. Hold this. Let me show you. Uh, looks like there's no, there's one back here too. Let's see what we have. Oh yes. So this is a keep. This is a hand-me-down through Andy's family. And I need to write who it's from. My mother-in-law might have wrote something down. I have to ask her so I can tuck it inside this frame to remember who this is from. But this was a hand-me-down. This is Andy's. It's really pretty. I need to ask if he wants to keep that. It says twinkle twinkle little star. The star is broken. Someone might be able to do something with this. So I'm just going to put this on free cycle on Facebook Marketplace and let somebody have it. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is Philadelphia Boathouse Row. Before, I lived in the Philadelphia area before we got married and this was a gift from a friend. If you've been around a while, this is that fall picture that was in the crawl space before we left that I actually do love. I'd like to find a home for. Very, very beautiful. I'm inclined to keep this. There's a wall in the family room that we're thinking about making into like a library of sorts. Andy has a lot of books that he'd like to put out. Or, ooh, I've been wanting to make myself a little work corner. This could go in the work corner. It is decidedly so. I'm gonna put this in my little office space, which I'm trying to build in the bedroom. Yeah. Recycling, this is all very, Let's see, can I untape it? This is like heavy duty, heavy duty craft paper, and the tape is just coming right off of it. I can wrap Christmas presents in this, and then put like colorful bows. I might do that. My sister-in-law wrapped in craft paper one year, and it was beautiful the way she decorated it. And I have these little Christmas tags and stuff, so I think I might do that. I think I'm going to repurpose this as Christmas wrapping paper. Okay. Cool. When we first unpacked after the move and I had maybe a hundred boxes, there was a lady on that I posted on Facebook Marketplace and this lady messaged me that she was being forced to move by her landlord because her landlord was selling her house. She had a broken foot, two teenagers, she's on her own, and she accepted the free boxes. And she said, if you have any more, let me know. So all summer long, I just pinged her with boxes and she would swing by a couple times a week and pick up these free boxes. I was just gonna put them in recycling. She needed them. I have no idea what she's done with them after. Hopefully she recycled them or give, gave them forward to someone else. But if, if you are looking for a way to get rid of your things, you don't want to donate. You don't necessarily want to sell. People need things. And if you post on Facebook Marketplace and list or go into a free cycle group or a buy nothing group in your area, if you search buy nothing in your town name or your state name, you'll find things on Facebook for people who need things and stuff you don't want anymore. 
The donation centers are full. You don't necessarily want to sell it, but you would love to see it go to someone else who could use it. Try to look for these groups. People need things. People need things to sell things because they need money. So if you if you have a if you are in a way to give forward, look for that in your area. My point is, before recycling day, I might put this on Facebook Marketplace and see if anybody wants it. And if they don't, then I just put it in the recycling. Okay, another box. Pretty but wide labeled pictures. I mean, how many pictures and frames does one family need? In minimalism, it's not about a number. I'm finding, you know, there's not a certain number of plates or towels or whatever that you can maintain to find this perfect balance. That your number is your number. I don't know what our family number is for photos. I have three stacks directly in front of me right now that I'm keeping. with the intent of updating the pictures and hanging them on the wall. I, I can't seem to motivate myself to do that. I know exactly what these are. These are three shadow boxes that I bought that I was gonna put the outfit that each kid came home in, um, any kind of newborn trinkets that I've hung on to, which I boxed them upstairs and put them in the boys' closet. We might be able to build something and have a shadow box for each kid from their first week of life. Really great idea. Never followed through with it. And I'm a little pulled in two directions right now. One direction is yeah, that's a great idea. The kids would really treasure something like that. I would treasure it. Andy would, we would all treasure having something like that. And the other side of me is, are you really gonna do it? Yeah, <laughs> not this year, not next year probably either. Am I really gonna do it? Am I really gonna do it? No. No. Am I gonna have that hanging on the wall for the next couple of decades? No. What I want on the walls are recent pictures and I can't even get that far. I've got all these picture frames here and I need to update those and get those on the wall. What they would like is a keepsake box. What I would like is a keepsake box and something I could give to the kids as well from their newborn slash first year of life, babyhood. A box of their things from that time period. The outfit they came home in, the hospital hat, the hospital blanket. I saved all that stuff. Their wrist, their their hospital bracelet. I, I saved all that stuff. Their baptism bib. I, I got all that. I could put that in beautiful memory keeping boxes and give and use it that way. I think I'm more inclined to be that person than the shadow box person. So I am going to either sell or give away these shadow boxes. Yeah, that's the right decision. Okay, what I usually do is search first to see if it's even of value to people. That if it's already in existence and it's selling, then maybe I can make a couple of bucks. If not, then I give things away. It's stuff that I've decided to get rid of. I don't necessarily wanna donate. And if someone else would if someone else is a shadow box person, then they can have it. All right, that's good. Keepsake boxes, which I've already started upstairs. So, yeah. Okay, this one's labeled living room pictures. May or may not have come from the living room. It's old house. What did I have on the wall there? The thing about Navy life is you can feel a little displaced for a lot of the time. <laughs> Um, that house in Pennsylvania, the one we moved from to move here, it was the only house I ever felt rooted. I ever felt like it was our home. Um, and we've owned two other houses prior to owning that one. We don't own this house, we're renting this house. And I still haven't hung thing, a lot of things on the wall. Okay, this is a wall tray shelf, still in the box. I actually think this, when I clean out the crawl space, I wanted to declutter this shelf. Is this a box of stuff I've already decluttered that was supposed to go to Goodwill and not move with us? Uh, 
It is, I think. Or did I say I was going to keep these? I don't even remember. But no, I'm not keeping them. Picture ledges. Why are these so muddy? This is just paper. Okay, more paper. More paper. What's in here? Wall hanging kit. Andy might want that. I would love it if you subscribed to our community here online where we support each other with kindness and comments and help each other declutter and live with a little bit less. Thanks for watching. Here's the latest video.